Oh boy! Got kids, got parent, got barn, got coop. We are putting in some posts. So this is a long-term investment in a solid coop. And I just wanted to make sure that I um, put these posts in the right way. And I'm going to show you how to put them in the right way. So here we go. 8-inch sauna tube or a quick creep tube. So it's preforming your um, post. And I'm just going to try and cut it with this wood saw. I don't know if this is the best thing for the job, but it seems to be working okay. That's fasting. Yeah, that's really fast. And then let's see if it still makes a cool sound. Yeah, the other one. When we dropped it earlier, it sounded really cool. There we go. Alright, if you're fancy schmancy, then you've got the post hole auger on your tractor. And if you're a little more old school or arm power, then you're using one of these post hole diggers. And that's that's what we're using today. Old school. And uh, this isn't great, but I am working right on the edge of a big stump root here, unfortunately. And we're just going to do the best we can. This way we're going to dig a hole. Um, yeah, this is where we're going to dig a hole, monkey, except that was at the. It was already here the other day, and I dug a hole! Whoa! That's deep. Yeah, so um, it looks really deep from above, but it's always not as deep as you think it is based on the amount of work you did. Wouldn't it be like up to my knee? And this is a 24 inch sauna tube, and we're gonna set that in there roughly level, and it's a little bit above ground, so we want our cement coming up just a little bit above grade. And the other thing... I'm sorry, there's going to be a lot of that in this video. <laughs> um, the other thing we want to do is we want about a couple inches of um, gravel at the bottom. So we're just going to pick stones from yeah. the digging, and we're going to drop them in there. Okay, mostly these small ones. Ow. Ooh, it's Maybe nothing bigger than that, okay? Okay. And Ow. those are going to go in the bottom for the post to sit on. Just down the hole? Yep. Oh, and, and down the inside also, monkey. Oh. Yeah, and we're gonna pack stones and sand back around the outside as well. Where are you? There is a Jubilee Orpington rooster, and then I forget the breed of those two hens back there. there. Yeah, he's gonna get a shot of us working from up top. Okay, this is a 10 foot pressure treated 4x4 four four post. That's what we're going to put in there. And we're aiming for it to be two feet underground. And the, and the fencing we bought is 48 inches. So it should go up four feet and then up to the top will be eight feet. And that'll help to keep our two flocks of chickens separate from one another because they won't be able to fly over an eight foot fence. So this 4x4 four four post is ground contact rated. It's pressure treated. It's going to set on the bottom. It's going to sit on the gravel and then the cement's going to pour up to about the 24 inch mark. Um, there's not a lot of surface here for the cement to grab on. So we're also going to spike in along the bottom a bunch of these three and a half inch or four inch nails uh, all the way around. And that'll help to grab onto the cement. Now I'm also going to, because I've got this... Um, Oh, it is level. Okay. Yeah, so we want to level each of our quick tubes as they go in. And then we're going to level our post when we set our post up as well. This one's actually good. So we'll fill in around the outside with sand and then we're going to get this post ready to set in.
Oh, I gotta hammer them in a little bit more because they're too long. Too long. One of them is crooked. You're crooked. Oh. Looks like a spiked weapon, eh? Yeah. Looks like a club that he was like, whack! Now you're dead. Think it'll fit now? Mm-hmm. Just perfectly. Good. Good. We're gonna get these branches out of the way. Are we gonna get one of those lift lure things to chop them? The branches? I just did chop them. They're gone. Okay, now we're gonna put our concrete in and level our post. Hmm. I have a shortage of short nails. Okay, can you hold these down? One of them? Uh, one of these? Yeah, just hold one. You got it. Okay. Let's put... Oh, you're gonna do that. Yeah. One. Thank you. Don't you need two more? Uh, I think I'm going to do it with just two. Okay. okay. Alright. Now we're going to center our post as best we can in the tube. And then we're going to get it close to level. Then we're going to put our cement in and then we're going to finish leveling it. Let's level that, okay? Um, these posts are also not the highest quality of post to be had because there's a national shortage of pressure treated lumber. During the COVID, I guess everybody's got building projects and some of the mills have shuttered down. So there's a supply demand issue. So I kind of got the last pick of the pile. So just make sure when you set your post in that you square it to the direction that you want to attach your boards. Otherwise, you're going to be kicking yourself <laughs> about that later. Mine's squared. This is a product I haven't used before, Quick Post. I thought it was a premix, and you would do it in a wheelbarrow and then put it in when it's wet. It's a good thing I read the instructions first, which you should always do. Um, all you do is you wet the bottom of the post hole. Then you uh, pour it in. Add enough to come within four inches of the top of the hole. And then you pour your water in, and then you just poke at it with a stick to get the water to penetrate. So let's do that. Well, let's not use my good knife on a cement bag. Let's use my utility knife. That would be a smarter thing to do. to soak.
find a stick. A couple of holes. Allow the surface water to penetrate. Done. You don't like it. too much water and not enough mix, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. I don't you know why they. Idea? I'm not really sure why they say to do to within four inches and not. No, I don't have it. My post isn't filled. Does it expand? I don't know. That would be a helpful clarification on this. I have three bags. Which apparently is going to be enough to do three and a half or four posts. And you have three, right? Four posts. Okay, now that the post is in, we're just going to double check to see if it's still at level, which it is. And it is, it didn't budge the whole time that we poured. So that's perfect. Now we just let it set. So now we're just gonna let this set and we should have a post for life. Um, so if you're pricing this out, uh, I will, um, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but I'm gonna just put up a little um, text box here to show you the individual costs per post so that'll include the post and the mix the tube and um, I guess you know add a little add a buck for nails or something and um, and then this should be good for a very very long time